Hey, 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 welcome back to I've been watching way too much Moist Critical. Today we've got the Long John Silvers tier list. Probably the one thing you'll never have to worry about Charlie making. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I've been eating a lot of fish lately. Because it's Lent and they don't have a Captain D's anywhere in Athens. So I think I meet the bare minimum of qualification of actually eating at Long John Silver's to make the LJS tier list. But uh, just in case, because it's not like I've tried their entire menu, otherwise I wouldn't still be standing, I've got it right here. And also, shout out to them for updating their webpage. They must have watched uh, Charlie's video about them and decided to actually update it and now they no longer have cheese bites just as their promotional item but anyways uh let's get started and dear god i really need to get an ad block here all right well first up the s there's no there's not going to be an s tier at long john silver and most what you're going to get is something that's good and then you're going to get and then after good you've got mid and then you've got edible. And then you've got just safe to eat. And then you've got downright disgusting. Actually, I'm not going to type that, but you get the point. Disgusting. Yeah, and I'll... Yeah, and I might add one or two more tiers, depending on... You know what happens. Maybe I'll add a trash tier. We'll figure it out. But first off, we've got their chicken. And that'll that can go in either edible or mid. It's not great. But it is prob but you're better off ordering the chicken than the actual fish. So I'll be generous and put it in mid. I've had I have had their fish and chicken and remember eating the chicken more, so and you I mean that's that is clam chowder. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, they they got that off the menu for a reason. It is just you know what? <laughs> I will I am going to add I am going to add a row below. Clam chowder can go right in the trash. And even then, I still think that's generous. And then we've got just the saddest image for tartar sauce. I mean, it's a love or hate thing, but at least I can promise you the tartar sauce is going to be safe to eat. Now we've got, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get all the fish in line. Because I, I definitely did research before starting this tier list. So the difference is, so these, the only difference between these two fish is the shape. And then the difference between this and these two is, I believe that is deep fried in an ex criminal, excessive, an excessively criminal amount of oil. And just batter. And these are not. So I can put that fish in safe to eat. I can put their big catch fish in the downright disgusting. And then there's the kids meal fish. Which I'll put in safe. Which if I was giving points for creativity. It's fish shaped like a fish. I would put it above safe to eat. But I'm not really basing it off of creativity, so these two are safe to eat. That it, I would not order that. And the only thing that would make it worse is if they were still using the same recipe from 2013, which contained like 30 grams of trans fat. Dear God. Okay. It is 100% cocktail sauce. And we can put that in safe to eat as well. 
I'm pretty sure that's toast. But <laughs> you look at their sides. That if it is, they don't sell toast anymore. But I'm gonna get. But I'm going to use common sense and just say that the toast will at least be safe to eat. I could probably put it in edible, but that's about as generous as I can give it, because it's still Long John Silver, and this isn't going to be some Zaxby's or Texas style toast, most likely. And now we've got their first actual good item. That being their hush puppies. Again, there's no S tier or anything. They're fine in my opinion. But they're good. Or at least they at least meet the bare minimum. They're in like I'd say the right category for good fast food, whatever you want to call it. I've had better, but for a chain restaurant that those are pretty those are pretty blessing. Now, I'm pretty sure those are fries. But they but then again, I see these, so unless they've got two separate fries, which I don't think so. They just probably put fries on there twice. So, I think the best bet is to put them in the same category with a toast as edible but I have had their fries and like the big catch meal I got when I was younger I never finished them I would eat them but never finish so that's about all I can say about them <clears throat> and now you got coffee I don't think there's anything too special about the Long John Silver coffee. It's just black coffee and a signature mug. So I think I can confidently put that in edible. And now we've got mac and cheese. God damn. Never ordered mac and cheese from Long John Silver, but I don't think I've ever had a bad experience with when it comes to mac and cheese. If I could be confident, I would at least say it's safe to eat. But should I add a new category for just the stuff I've never tried? If that's the case, then I would most likely have to put the coffee and I guess the toast there. But, you know, edible or safe to eat, I think, is a fair place for mac and cheese. We can swap it out depending on how you think I'm pretty sure that's coleslaw let me double yeah okay we got coleslaw not the biggest fan I also wouldn't trust coleslaw from Long John Silver so I would trust their corn more. I really don't think you can even screw up corn too much, so I might even put that in edible, which doesn't say much. I think it's the same with the mac and cheese. The corn can go either way, but we'll see. Now, those are chips. I don't think they serve. I don't think they have like a fish and chips uh, menu or option anymore. I could double check. But the only thing I know about like chips when it comes to a fish and chip combo or meal is that the chips are like the most generic, nameless brand possible. They got a good crunch, but that's about it. They're just not the greatest so I'll put it in disgusting as well now we're getting into some of the more presentable stuff uh, let me move the let me go ahead and do the green beans those are most likely safe to, those are safe to eat at least now I'm 
99% confident. I have confidence it's grilled shrimp. Could be wrong. Shrimp bowl, salmon bowl. Yeah. The eyeball, I can't zoom in on the image. But I'm confident that that's some kind of grilled shrimp. And I said that their shrimp and chicken are fine. It's better than the fish, so. I'll put it above edible. And it's not deep fried. Like, if it was deep fried, I'd probably have to just put it in edible at best. But because it's grilled and there's not excessive use of batter, it's mid. I have had their shrimp before, not their grilled, but I'm gonna tr put my tr I'm gonna put my faith in it. I have faith in it, almost as much faith as I have in this mustache. And I've got no fucking clue what that is. That is not what I wanted to do. I think that's some kind of... Well, that didn't help. See, I would think it's their salmon. But that's their salmon. That looks much more like salmon than... Well... One of these two is salmon, and the other is some kind of shrimp. I don't see it though, and I keep exiting out of that. Maybe it's on their featured menu. Okay, I think it's just the combo meal. You got... Okay, I think that's their salmon and that's their shrimp. Doing the old eyeball test, I think that is their grilled shrimp. What's that? Okay, I'm getting really confused. One of them is definitely their salmon, though. Okay, I'm not going to find anything on the regular menu, because all that stuff is... They fry the hell out of that. I don't even... Wait, could it be tacos? Uh, it's hard to tell, but that might be salmon and that might be shrimp tacos. At the very least, I think, I haven't tried them, but at the very least, I can put the shrimp tacos in edible and the salmon in safe to eat. I really need to try these three things for better judgment, but if I had to keep it, but honestly, the simpler it is, the more faith I have it when it comes to Long John Silver. So regular grilled shrimp, I would probably say that is the safest and probably the has the most taste to it. And you've got their shrimp tacos, and then you've got salmon. So, and then you've got just the standard Hagden ice cream. I like it. I like it, and it's sad that, I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's better than edible. And it's sad that one of the positive things on their menu is something they don't even own. Same with root beer. <laughs> That's not their root beer. They just use their generic brand, but it's all right. And you've got a chocolate pie. Hang on, let me go to their dessert menus and double check. Maybe it's something more fancy. Well, that cheesecake. Wait, they serve Cheesecake Factory cheesecake? Well, that doesn't look like Cheesecake Factory chocolate cheesecake. That looks like the kind they serve in a little carton from Burger King. I mean, it's edible at the very least. It is not the. Cheesecake Factory Triple Chocolate Cheesecake, I'll tell you that much. Honey Mustard. This is a biased tier. Honey Mustard is disgusting. Wait, 
I think that's just a bowl of rice. I could be wrong. Oh no, it is. Yeah, this is the bowl of rice. Yeah, at least it's safe to eat. <coughs> really, I don't know what too much of the difference is. I guess edible means it has flavor. This just means, you know, you can consume it, but it's not going to really taste like anything. I don't know. Honestly, these go back and forth depending on how you taste them. Maybe I don't know too much about Long John Silver. But then again, because they use a lot of the generic name brand stuff that they don't even make themselves. It's not like this is all their own signature ice cream. That helps with the tier list a bit. Then you've got their jumbo shrimp. Yeah. I put their shrimp over the fish. So I'll put in edible. I do think their grilled is better than just the regular. I have had the regular though and it's fine. And I'm pretty sure that's barbecue sauce. I want to double check. I don't think they have any. I don't think they got some kind of signature sauce either. Well, never mind. They've got. Well, actually, they. I. I maybe they do, but it ain't like no Chick Fil A sauce. Oh, that's just Sweet Baby Ray's. <laughs> Out of all the sauces that... I mean, that definitely helps. I trust Sweet Baby Ray's more than anything that's sponsored by Long John Silver or whatnot. Actually, I could probably put the... I could probably put that in mid. Sweet Baby Ray's is pretty trustworthy. And lastly, you've got their cheese bites. Which is very new, and I have not had. So, I'm going to go on a limb here and say that they're edible. I don't plan on updating this list, but if I do, after, if I try some more items and I decide to update it, you know, maybe I'll post it on the platform formerly known as Twitter. And it'll be like my first post and since creating the account because <laughs> I don't go there for Jack but uh, yeah that looks like a pretty solid list for Long John Silvers but let me know what y'all think down in the comments let me know if you would change things around or if you eat there more than I do